students today we are going to learn log on to animate cc so watch the video very carefully i hope so you understand everything now let's start the video see the most popular software for animation first let's start what is animate animate is a powerful animation software package developed by adobe systems formerly macromedia Animate provides a versatile and easy way to create animation that consists of images, sounds, and videos with various effects. Animate is a vector-based program which means that the graphics created in it can be scaled to any size without compromising the quality. Animate is extremely useful for developing highly interactive websites, online advertisements, computer games, and contents for various mobile devices. Playing movies in any browser is one of the best features of Animate. Students know the fact that Animate was earlier known as Future Splash Animator, developed by Future Wave in December 1996. Later on, it was acquired by Adobe Systems in 2005. The first version of Animate CC was released on February 8, 2016. Now, let us know how to open Animate. Click on the start. Scroll down to Adobe Animate CC. The opening screen appears. Click on the Action Script 3.0 under Create New section to open the Animate document. Students know the fact that the default extension of Animate file is .fla. Students, let's talk about the workspace. Animate is similar to the Paint software in Windows. It has almost the same tools that Paint uses, except that these tools are mainly used for animation. The workspace is the arrangement of various animate elements such as the Tools panel, Library panel, Property Inspector, and Stage. Students, let's have a discussion. Animate versus Paint. Stage. The stage is a drawing board where we can create graphics, animation, and can make modifications too. It is a large white space that is present at the center of the workspace. By default, the stage dimensions are 515 to 400 pixels. The gray area surrounding the stage is called the work area. This area can contain graphic elements which can be moved to the stage as and when required. We can modify the view of the stage size by selecting the view, then go to zoom in and view, then go to zoom out options as well. Menu. The menu provides control over common functions like opening, closing and saving of a document. Some other features like copying, pasting, calling up specific panels and controlling overall animate environment can be seen under menu options. Tools panel. The tools panel consists of various tools to draw, paint, select and modify objects in the workspace. The tools panel is divided into four parts: tools, view, colors and options. The tools section, it contains tools that are used for drawing, painting and selecting objects. The view section, it consists of tools for zooming and panning the application window. The colors section It includes modifiers to select colors for the shape you draw using stroke and fill color picker. The options section, it displays modifiers for the currently selected tools. Modifiers affect the tool's painting or editing operations. Timeline, the timeline is a rectangular window that is present at the bottom of the stage. It is the area where one controls the sequencing and timing of graphics and other elements of a movie. The major component of the timeline are layers, frames and the playhead. Frames. Animations in Animate are created with the help of frames. Frame is defined as the little rectangular cells that appear on the timeline. Every fifth frame displays a number which you can find on top of the timeline. Like films, Animate document divides the length of the time into frames. A frame displays the content of the movie at a specific moment of time. Let us take a quick view. The shortcut key to insert a frame is F5. Keyframes. 
Keyframes are special types of frames where we define some change to an object's properties for an animation, like position, color, shape, etc. A keyframe is represented by a solid black dot. We can easily change the length of a twinned animation by dragging a keyframe in the timeline. Students, let us know more. Keyframes can be of two types. If a keyframe has content in it, then it is represented by a dark circle. An empty circle in the timeline preceded by a keyframe represents an empty or blank keyframe. Let us take a quick view. The shortcut key to insert a keyframe is F6. Layers. Layers are like transparent sheets stacked on top of one another, each containing a different image that appears on the stage. When we open a new anime document, it displays only one layer, which contains its own timeline with endless frames. We can add more layers to organize the artwork and animation in a document. We can draw and edit objects on one layer without affecting objects on another layer. The active layer is indicated with a keyframe navigation controller icon. Playhead. The playhead indicates the current frame displayed on the stage. It is represented by a red frame and red vertical line below it in the timeline window. It moves from left to right in the timeline as the movie proceeds through the frames. The speed of the playhead's movement is based on the frame rate setting. Property Inspector. The property inspector is a panel that displays the properties of the selected object, text, symbol, an image, a line or a shape. The list of properties also varies in the property inspector depending on the object selected. You can make changes to the object or document attributes in the property inspector. Students let us understand how to set document properties. Each time when we open Animate, the application opens a new file with the default settings for the movie properties. We can create a new movie as we want. To set the frame rate, background, color and ruler units, we use the following steps. Click on the file then go to New. The new document dialog box is displayed. Select the Action Script 3.0 option in the Type section. Define the stage dimensions, ruler units, background color and frame rate and click OK. A document will open with the defined settings. Changing the settings of an already open document. You can also modify the settings of already open document later on by selecting the modify. Then go to document option and change the settings as per your need. To specify the stage size in pixels, select the pixels from the units drop-down list. Enter the values of width and height in their corresponding boxes in the stage size section. To set the stage size according to the contents on the stage, select the match contents option next to the stage size section. To set the background color of the stage, choose any color from the stage color swatch. To change the frame rate, specify the speed at which an animation is to be played in frames per second in the frames rate box. By default, the frame rate is 24 fps frame per second. Type any number between 0.01 to 120 fps in the frame rate box. To save the current settings as the default, click on the make default button. Click on OK after specifying the required options. Students, let me share an interesting point with you. Ctrl plus J is the shortcut key to display document properties dialog box. Ok students, now let us understand about drawing an object and grouping outline with fill. When we make a drawing in animate, it actually creates two objects, the fill and the outline. To manipulate elements as a single object, we need to group them. Select the pencil tool and select brown as a stroke color. Draw the trunk as shown in the figure. Choose the selection tool and move the pointer on the tree trunk. A curve is displayed below the arrow. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the lines of the trunk to give a proper shape. Select the pencil tool and choose the smooth mode from the pencil mode option. 
Select green as the stroke color. Draw the curves of the tree top as shown in the figure. Select green color as the fill color and then select the paint bucket tool. Click inside the tree top. Similarly fill brown color in the trunk. Select the selection tool. Double click on the tree trunk and group them by pressing Ctrl plus G. Drag the tree trunk over the tree top. Now select the complete tree by dragging the mouse around it. Choose the modify then go to group option or press Ctrl plus G. Students note, you can also select multiple objects by choosing the selection tool, holding down the shift key and clicking on the objects. Let us take a quick view. The shortcut key for the pencil tool is shift plus Y and for the selection tool is V. Alright, let us understand how to apply gradient fill. A gradient is a multicolor fill in which one color gradually changes into another color. Gradients are formed by mixing of two or more colors in an object. You can either use the inbuilt gradient presets from the swatches panel or use the color panel to create your own gradients and add them to the swatches panel. Follow these steps to apply a gradient fill to an object. Select the tree using the selection tool. Ungroup the selection by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus G key combination or by double clicking on the tree. Select the paint bucket tool. Click the fill color swatch to get the color palette. Select the green gradient color effect from the swatches panel and click inside the top of the tree. The gradient color fills the shape. Students let's know more. You can add another color marker and assign colors to them by clicking below the gradient bar. To remove a color marker, drag it off the bar. Ok students, now let us find out how to create a new gradient. Animate can create two types of gradients. Linear gradient changes color from the starting point to the end point in a straight line. Radial gradient Changes color in a circular outward direction starting from the focal point. To create a new gradient, follow these steps. Choose the window then go to color option to display the color panel. Choose either linear gradient or radial gradient from the color type drop down list. Here we have selected the linear gradient. Double click on the left pointer below the gradient definition bar. The color palette appears. Select the brown color. Double click on the right pointer and select the orange color. Select the paint bucket tool and click on the trunk of the tree. Adjust the color plans of the gradient by moving the pointers closer to each other or farther apart. Select any mode among, extend, reflect or repeat under the flow section to apply to the gradient. To add more colors to your gradient, click anywhere on the gradient definition bar to add a slider pointer. You can then double click this slider to set the color. Students know that you can add the new gradient color in the swatches panel by clicking on the add to swatches button below the gradient definition bar. Or click on the hamburger button on the top right corner of the color panel bar and select the add swatch option from the drop down menu. Students let us take a quick view. The shortcut key to open the color panel to set the gradient color is alt plus shift plus F9. Ok now let us find out how to modify a linear gradient. As you have filled the linear gradient shade in the trunk similarly fill the linear gradient color in the top of the tree. Let us now modify the linear gradient filled in the tree shape by using the gradient transform tool. Click on the small triangle on the bottom right corner of the free transform tool and select the gradient transform tool from the tools panel. Click on the object fill with gradient color in it. The gradient selection shape will appear as shown in figure. Width adjustment handle. This is the center point of the gradient. Rotation handle. 
Changing the center of the gradient. The center point of the gradient is the place where all the mixing colors are present in equal proportion. To change the center of a gradient, use the following steps. Bring the pointer over the center point. Drag the center point in the desired direction to change its position and observe the change. Changing the width of the gradient. To change the width of the gradient filled inside the shape, follow the steps given below. Position the pointer over the width adjustment handle. It will change to a double-headed arrow. Drag the adjustment handle either to the left or right to increase or decrease the gradient's width. Rotating the gradient fill. To rotate the gradient color filled inside the shape, follow these steps. Position the pointer over the rotation handle. The pointer shape changes to Drag the rotation handle clockwise or anti-clockwise according to the need and observe the change. Students, let us understand how to modify a radial gradient. Likewise, you can modify a radial gradient color filled inside the tree. Let us modify the gradient filled in the shape by using the gradient transform tool. Select the gradient transform tool in the tools panel and click on the object. The bounding shape will appear as shown in the figure. Adjust the gradient as required. Center of the gradient. You can drag the center point to change the starting point of color mixing of the gradient. Rotation handle. You can drag the rotation handle clockwise or anti-clockwise to rotate the gradient as required. Width adjustment handle. You can drag the width adjustment handle to increase or decrease the gradient's width. Radius adjustment handle. You can drag the radius adjustment handle to alter the gradient size proportionately. Okay, let's